try that again. Take two. So what I'd like you guys to show is show you how to solve a system which h minus z equals 3, and then the other equation is th negative 3h plus 3z equals 6. And I was kind of joking around with you guys when I was saying, you know, don't be discriminatory on which, uh, which way to solve this. Because now we've talked about elimination, and we've also talked about substitution, and what is the easiest method for you to use to solve the system. And it really just depends on what you like and what you're used to. So what I want to do is I want to go over both of them. Okay? Touche. So on substitution, first thing we got to do is we got to solve for one of our variables, right? We got to choose which variable to solve for. Well, obviously, you can see that the easiest variable to solve for would be your h, right? So you could say h um, equals 3 plus z. And then you have negative 3h plus 3z equals 6. Then. Once we have a variable, once we have one equation solved for a variable, you plug in your expression in for that variable because there are substitute one another, right? H is equivalent to 3 plus z. So I do negative 3 times 3 plus z plus 3z equals 6. And the reason, again, why we do this, ladies and gentlemen, is because now what I have done is I have gotten rid of my h. So I can solve an equation with one variable. Now before I go and solve, I want to go and do the elimination part so you guys can see. Elimination, remember, is talking about adding and subtracting your two equations. So when doing elimination, what we're going to want to do is, remember, we want to add and subtract them. But when adding and subtracting, we just don't want to add and subtract the equations as is um, if they do not produce a 0 coefficient. See, because if, if I add these two equations, I still get one equation with an h and a z. What I want to do is I want to add them so that they're going to have a coefficient of 0. So I can either get rid of the h's or get rid of the z's. And what you want to do is you want to determine which should be the easiest one for you to get rid of. And it really doesn't matter. Um, I am going to determine to eliminate. I'm going to determine to eliminate uh, h. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 3 times h minus z equals 3. So I multiply a whole equation by 3. So therefore, I get 3h minus 3z equals 3. And then I have negative 3h plus 3z equals 6. Now, as you notice, when I add these up, I'm going to get 0 coefficients. Yes? But if you multiply 3 by 3, wouldn't that equal 9? It does equal 9. Thank you very much. There you go. You got to make sure you multiply your three times all your terms, correct? So now, let's go ahead and add. Um, so now what you guys will notice, well, what you use it is you get 0h plus 0z equals 15, where 0 equals 15. Over here, let's go and check it out. I get negative 9 minus 3z plus 3z equals 6. Therefore, I get negative 9 equals 6. In either one of these examples, do I have a true or a false statement? False statement. Therefore, do I have a solution? Do I have a point where these two graphs are going to intersect? No. So therefore, I'm going to have no, um, I am not going to have a solution. So it doesn't matter if you do it by substitution or elimination. What you guys will notice is by either eliminating your h variable by substituting it, or trying to eliminate a variable, I ended up eliminating both variables at the same time, and I got an equation that does not work. So therefore, there's no solution for this problem. All right? Cool. So 